Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another quick video, an install video of another home automation product, the Nest Yale. I wanna just really quickly walk you guys through how to do this, how to make it easy for you if you're a little afraid of it um, or you just don't know how to install it. We wanna, I did it, so I just wanna share that with you and make it super easy like our other install videos. Um, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Look in the description below. Put a lot of more information in there as we get feedback and stuff of what you guys need. Also, there'll be a link in the description below. You can check out the product, see if you want it, if you don't have it, and purchase it. Um, we appreciate your support. Um, subscribers, thank you so much for joining us for our videos and liking our videos and sharing our videos. It's a huge help. Um, we really want to be um, a Zacchaeus family that allows you to get great by unbiased opinion reviews here on YouTube. So if you're not a subscriber, just click that subscribe button right below. It's free to do so. You can cancel at any time. We want you to be part of the Zacchaeus family and you'll get notified first when we put new videos up and you can check those out. And let's get started. This is something I had in my house in Austin. Um, it wasn't the Nest Gel, but it was kind of like that. It was a keypad on the front door, and I just really liked it. It was really, really cool to be able to just click the logo, lock the door. Um, if family was in town, they could walk around the neighborhood if I was gone and get back in the house. So when I moved into the my new house here in Dallas, I was like, um, I've already got a lot of Nest products. If you're a subscriber, you know that thermostats and cameras and all that good stuff. And so I wanted it all to work together. It's just nicer if it's all in the same app and I'm a huge Google uh, user. So it's nice because it works in Google Home. All, the, all those products work together. They work with the Google Home products like Google Mini and Google Home Hub, Home Max, or Nest Max is now it's called, um, and all that good stuff. So the cool thing about this is, beyond that, is if you have a housekeeper, a nanny, a pet walker, um, someone, a family comes in town, or someone staying with you, an exchange student, whatever it may be, you can create passcodes in the app. I'm gonna show that to you later. You can create passcodes in the app, and you can even schedule them to only be active during certain times, certain days, and that way, your home is protected. You don't have to give a key out if they leave, or you let them go, or you hire someone else. Um, there's no awkwardness of trying to get the key back, worrying about the key, having to rekey your house. You just shut that code off and you're done. Um, so the install is really easy. Before we get started, I just a couple of tips that I learned. Um, the door jam, where the actual lock locking mechanism is, um, is different in every house. Most new homes, the Nest Geo will work fine but you need to take out of the box, take out of the box the door jam, and just hold it up to your current door before you take anything off, before you start installing. These are just preliminary steps. Just hold it up and make sure that in the notch that the nest, the new nest yell is gonna fit in that notch. If not, then you need to go to the Home Depot or Lowe's if you don't already have a chisel and a hammer, because you're gonna need to Get a small chisel, not a big one. You're gonna to need to kind of notch out and make the, that hole a little bigger equally. You don't want to go too far on the top, too far on the bottom, and you wanna you wanna like hold up the door jam and use a pencil or something and draw on it because you don't want it to be so big that it's loose, and you don't want it to be too wide so it's loose. You just want to kind of like just a little bit make it a little bit bigger. Most people won't have to deal with that. I didn't have to deal with that, but I did hold it up just to make sure. Once I confirmed that. I started um, taking it all apart, which I'm just going to show you. The other thing is the actual plate on the jam that the lock goes into. Nest Yale provides one of those. You can use it if your other stuff was like brass or silver and you're going with the uh, oil rub bronze or if it's different than what you have, you can swap that out. Mine was already oil rub, so I just left the current one there. It works fine. You'll get a chance to test it. That's really easy to do later. Um, after the install. Okay, now we're ready. Let's get to the install. Are you ready? Here we go. Super easy, super easy. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the old one. 
Um, I use a Dewalt drill. There's a lot of different kinds of drills out there. It's just the one I have. I found a good deal on Amazon. If you are looking for a drill, I'll put that link down in the description below. But we're going to unscrew from the back side of the deadbolt. Now, if you live in a newer house or your house, um, most, most houses, you're going to have some caulking around the outside to just kind of seal, seal it. So I just have a razor blade and I'm cutting, I'm going to cut off, um, just kind of just not, not the door, but just kind of break it loose a little bit. And then I'm going to take a screw from the back side and kind of just nudge it out. So it, cause it can be, it can be jarring and stuck in there really hard as it should be. Just kind of push that out. Once you get all that apart, the door should be now ready to go. Nothing's in there, no door jam, no mechanisms. It's just the door. And you can start with the locking mechanism. You want to put that in there. It might be a little tough because mine was a little wider, so I had to push it a little bit. So just push that in there. Don't force it. I mean, if it's really not going, You'll need to get a little chisel or something and, and or a drill bit and kind of round that out a little bit. But you shouldn't have to. You should have to just push that thing right in. Most of these are universal. Take the two little screws and screw those in. Zip zip. The next thing is the outside touch panel. We're gonna put that in first. It has a wire. You wanna make sure that wire runs under the locking mechanism so it doesn't impede that at all. And it just it's really easy. It just feeds underneath and pops in there. And because the wire's hanging out on the other side, you shouldn't have a problem with it falling out. It's pretty well in there, but just be careful with that. Now we're going to take the back part, the working mechanism part with the motor, the batteries, all the electronics and computerized automation stuff. Um, there's a metal plate. It'll come off of the the pack. You want to run that wire through the bottom. There's a little place at the bottom. Run that wire through. It might feel like it's not going. Just pull it on through. It's it's made for that. Get that situated and take these two big screws and screw these in. This is the actual deadbolt of it, like a traditional deadbolt. It's locking that in so people can't take it apart or steal your pad and everything it locks that all in so you want to run those through just just like you pull them out from your old one run them through that locking mechanism all the way through make sure it catches on the keypad Now we're going to take off, there's a little tool, a little loopity tool, a little metal, like almost like a paper clip that's been bent out. You're going to pop that in the top and that unlocks the, um, the battery section. Then we're going to put on the cable to the back. Now there's a little black mark. You want that facing out. You want that facing out. You don't want it facing in. You want it facing out toward the outside and it just clips in there really nicely. Make sure it's in there tight. And then they, they put a little little grooves in there. You can just, you might have to force it a little bit, but you just want to put your cable in there and um, it keeps it all organized and from being loose and everything. And then at the bottom, there's a little section. If you have some extra cable, you can just kind of fold it in there. It's really not, not that big a deal. And then it goes on to the metal plate that you've already screwed on. And then there's two more screws that are going to go in that screw in from the battery pack into the metal plate to just hold it on really good, lock it in. Now we're almost done. I mean, I told you guys, this is super simple, super easy. Um, you're all, you're so close. You should have got a Nest Plus Yell with a connector in it. So at this point, you want to go ahead and get that out um, because you're going to need to set that up in your Nest app. Um, you can stop with the door for now. Um, the only thing I would say on the door is just test it, turn it, and make sure that it's actually functioning and locking 
and unlocking with the manual switch, not no, nothing automated yet. So now we're gonna get the little Nest Connect out. Go ahead and add that to your Nest app, just like you add any other product. You push the plus sign, scan the barcode, and it'll add that in to your Nest app. It won't show up in your devices because it's just an assistant. It's not an actual product that's gonna do anything. It's just the doorbell itself is through Yale and doesn't have any Wi-Fi connection. So this actually sends a Bluetooth connection to instruct the doorbell to lock or unlock and so forth. So you want it to be somewhere close to your door um, so that it can do that. Within 20 feet, I would say 10 feet, mine's pretty close, probably five or six feet from my door. So just make sure that that's there. The light should be green, it should be plugged in and ready to go. Once you get that done, we'll come back to the doorbell and put those batteries in. And you should hear it say, um, the doorbell's ready to go. It's not though. <laughs> Leave the battery pack off, go ahead and add it to your Nest app. Now I'm gonna walk you through that. To get it to connect, ready to connect to add to your app, you're just gonna hold down the button right above the manual switch. It's, it'll light up blue. Hold it down till it's blinking and then it's ready to add to your Nest app. The Nest app, you know, is really easy. You just push the plus sign, you're gonna scan the barcode on the doorbell. It's gonna recognize that it's what it is. It's gonna ask you where it is, front door, back door, whatever, choose that. And then it's gonna use that assistant that we already set up, and it's gonna start setting it up so that it has a basically like a faux Wi-Fi connection, Bluetooth connection, and it'll start and adding and configuring it all for you, setting all that up. Once it does that, it will show up in your devices so you can lock and unlock it, you can check the status of it, you can check the settings of it, all that good stuff. Really quickly now that it's set up, what you can do, what your options are, it's just a little guide here. You can just click next. So we're gonna go into settings and change the passcode because it gives you a default passcode, which it, you see, but I want it to be a passcode I'll remember, I know, no one else knows. So I changed it to something that I know. You'll see all your devices on the screen. You'll see it added there. You can just click it. And you'll see the animation. It'll unlock it or lock it depending on what state it's in. At the very bottom you'll see um, some icons. Just click on family and guests. And already you can go in there and change the settings anytime you want. Click on the icons at the bottom. Then we're gonna. I'm gonna show you really quick um, how to set up a guest or a, for me it's a housekeeper. I wanted to set up my housekeeper so she could get in the door. Um, you can give them a unique passcode. I used her phone number because I just thought that'd be easy for her to remember. It doesn't need to be super complicated. Um, and I set a schedule for it and uh, times of the day on, that, on those days that she can actually use it. That way, late at night or early mornings, no one's coming in on you. Um, it just won't function. The Nest family, if you've been with Nest, you know it's great to have these. The one bad thing about Nest is it's super slow, especially with video. Um, it takes forever to load the app and to see the video and then to look through the video. That's the one big downside to it. The great side about Nest is it's one of the only options that continuously records. Now let's test the door itself. Um, you can step outside, you peel off the little plastic. Lock it, you just hit the logo, the Yale logo, it'll lock it. To unlock it, you just tap the logo again and punch your code in and hit the check mark and it'll unlock it and you're in. Now we can put the cover on the battery once that's working. Put the cover on the battery. It's the only way to get it off is that, that little tool, so hang on to that, don't lose that, keep it. Um, you can also use probably a paper clip or something, but most NAS products that are somehow functioning outside have this this tool to lock it. At this point, you're ready. Now the only thing I need to let you know about is for some reason, and I'm sure this will be fixed soon, but in the Google Home app, where you can turn off your lights, control all your devices, um, the Nest Yell doesn't work. It shows up in there, but you can't lock it and unlock it from there. You have to go to the Nest app. Now Google Home will work. You can Google Home like the, the auto voice thing or your Google Assistant, you can say, hey Google, lock the front door to lock the front door. That's just something to note. If you see it in there and you're like, man, it's not working, it's not broken. It is broken, but you didn't do anything wrong. Google is, is working on this. They're gonna get that fixed so that 
um, as they migrate from Nest to Google. They're in the process of doing that, so some stuff is still a little clunky while they're doing that. I hope this really helps you. Um, I hope that just watching the video, it makes it seem so simple and not like this big thing um, because it really took me about probably 30 minutes, maybe less. Um, if I had known all this, it would have taken me even less time because some of it was like, oh, I got to run and get a screwdriver. Oh, I got to run and get a razor blade. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you guys to make it simpler for you guys. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so. Cancel at any time. We'd love to be you to be a part of the Zakas family and see your beautiful faces. You'll get notified first when we put videos up. We do things for men. We do home automation. We do anything that we think you are searching for or looking for, interested in, an honest, unbiased opinion about. Hit those comments below if you have questions or concerns or you love yours, you hate yours. Love to hear from you. Love to try to respond to all of you guys on that. The description right under the video always has links to everything you see in the video, links to learn more information and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Love seeing your beautiful faces. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.